as film photography becomes more and more popular and more creators of all types try film photography for the first time, they will soon find out that it's pretty expensive. The cost of developing and scanning alone can add up fast. Now, on my previous video, we discussed cheaper alternatives to film photography. If you guys want to watch that video, I will link it right up here. On this week's video, we will discuss yet another tool that I found that could potentially save you hundreds of dollars on film. Now, quick disclaimer before we move further into this video, if you are someone who is very serious about film photography and you are doing it for more than just the aesthetic of it, if you love the process of selecting your film stock, scanning yourself, or just the overall film photography experience and process, you may not find this video very helpful. But if you are someone trying to get that same film aesthetic and vibe on a budget with your mirrorless or DSLR cameras, well then buckle up my friends because this video is for you. This RF mount 30mm f10 pancake lens with free focus is something of a genius idea. Made popular by a TikTok creator when he took his disposable camera lens and glued it onto his lens cap. This sparked a wildfire in the film photography space because this new tool can now give you similar results as a film disposable camera. As more and more creators added and perfected the original design, this is what we are left with. Alright, now let's start by talking about the design of this little lens cap. Now, as you can see, this is the actual lens cap. It is very, very small and minimal and slim, hence the pancake name for the lens. It is completely made out of plastic and it has the little lens right here. This one is specifically for my Canon EOS R, but whichever camera you own, there is probably one like this already available on Amazon. So just go in there and check it out. And I'm sure you can find one for your camera. Now, let's talk about picture quality. The overall picture quality, it's, it's okay. Not very sharp, it looks muggy to me. One thing I don't like about this lens is the vignetting with a slight purple color cast. Now, some pictures do look better when you are in a shaded or darker area. One thing to note, this lens has no autofocus, it's free focus. Another thing, you need to allow your shutter to open without a lens attached. You can easily find this setting in your camera menu.
Now let's talk about the price. The good thing about this lens is that it's not gonna break the bank. Coming in at only $25 USD, I feel this is a great product and tool for what you are getting. I feel this product is only gonna get better and better as other people customize it and make better designs. Overall, with some small adjustments in post-production, I feel you can definitely mimic that film vibe that everyone is after, making your digital photos more nostalgic to you. Now that's gonna be it for this week's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That really helps out a lot. Subscribe if you guys are not subscribed already. Make sure you hit and smash the notification bell so you guys can get notified for future videos. And, and, you guys be safe out there. I'll see you guys next week.